Hello everybody, Reggie Time here, and today we are playing some 10 and L on Unibet, purely for video making purposes. This is uh, a site I haven't played on for a while, but I wanted to make some videos, um, hand review videos at everyone's thing. People tend to like watching live play videos more. I don't want to play, make videos on the site I'm currently playing on because it's very soft and I'd like it to stay that way. And even if a small number of regulars find their way into the pool, it will change it significantly because it's a relatively small pool um so we're doing this um i've put 100 quid on we're playing 10 euros an l and basically my goal is to just make videos every in mornings if i wake up in time uh, to make a video before my wife gets home or before i need to go about my daily business i'll be doing that mondays through thursdays fridays i work in the mornings and weekends i don't make videos so Hopefully we'll get at least two or three videos out per week until I either get bored or uh, we bust the account because I've only got £100 in it or um, we move up. So yeah, we're going to be just fucking around doing this. I want to try and make some more videos and I want to do it in a nice chilled manner. Uh, it's not in any way a fucking challenge. This is not a bankroll challenge. This is not anything. This is just, oh, Red just put 100 quid on Unibet and we're going to see how many videos we can get out of it. That's the challenge. How many videos? If there is a challenge. Uh, I'm going to peel the bridge shot here. Of this. Do bets the turn on the repeat jack. Um, things come up all now. No idea how these games play anymore. I haven't played them for a long time. Telling on Unibet used to be soft. Um, Probably still is, but who knows? Defending the ace jack. Suited versus a three bet. Checks. Might have the best hand. We're not going to get him to pull the better hand unless he's like three betting stuff like pocket fours, pocket fives, etc., pocket sixes. And if he is, we can make him fold them at some point later in the hand or try and make him fold them. For the time being, we're just going to check back with our ace jack suited up on table one. Checks again. I'm hoping we have some showdown value here. We probably don't, but again, um, we'll just if he if he checks again, we'd probably just try and bluff on the end. And what do we try to make him fold here? Pocket sixes. I don't think I'm going to bluff here. I think we just have too much showdown value with our ace jack. I think. King 10. Okie dokie. Well, our bluff wouldn't have worked. Would have worked on the flop. Just a little bit too much showdown value there for my liking. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a bet bet turn river when he checks twice. Wouldn't have worked, of course, because he did pair the king, but... Maybe when he does check three times, he likes his showdown value too. So maybe we need to try and take him off it. I don't fucking know. What the fuck do I know? But interesting that he three bet the king ten suited. Maybe something to bear in mind should we continue playing within this session. King Queen of Diamonds, three bet or call list. I think we're gonna start with a three bet, see how Fopper zero two one response. He responds by calling. Not completely unsurprising. Nine high flop backdoor diamonds. Um checking, hitting a queen. We like that. Facing big bet. Call. <laughs> Facing big. Hitting massive bet. Uh, I think on the fall line, everything's just fold here. I mean, he don't know how he has a seven, but maybe he just does. Maybe he just does it. I'm not paying a pot size bet off, regardless. Not doing it. The amount of times I've paid pot size bets off and lost versus won is probably significantly unfavourable for me. Uh, 3x. 
So we can map this 11x. It's pretty bit down here with the ace2, so that's going in the bin, holding the queen nine up, getting back up to rook dub and lose the um, fold, which is disappointing. Stop it with all the threes hitting me in the bin. I'm just not, I'm just ref quite frankly refusing to fold this deep to this size with a hand that can sometimes do pretty things. I mean, that's not particularly pretty. Uh, checking, of course. And I say there shouldn't be big bets on this. Um, I mean, calling. Okay, see you at the river, sir. Obviously have some Jack X in his foot and speed betting range. I'm just gonna bet quite big here. I hope he's got like fucking queens with a diamond, something like that. Here we get donked into. Um, if you didn't see the turn card. Dunked into again in a half pot. Didn't see a river card. Been raised up here. Uh, don't like that. Head straight down here. Do like that. I mean, what? We just this isn't a bluff, is it? Probably checks back the turn and then wants to raise the river. What checks back turn? Ah, fuck yeah, I was gonna fold anyway, but timing out. What checks back turn there and then doesn't want to bet the river? Uh, sorry, then wants to raise the river. I don't fucking know. How am I supposed to know? Uh, okay, it's well suited. This guy just overbets Jack Jack Seven. No idea if that's meant to be a thing or not. Yeah, but well, we're not going to raise versus an overbet, and we're not going to call. So I guess we're going to fold. Ace four, probably not good here. Bet flop, check turn. It's either a give up or it's showdown value better than 4x, one would imagine. And it's ace king giving up. Yeah, that made, I didn't understand. Didn't understand that hand. I mean, yep, he can raise a jack on the river, but I don't think people do on that board. So he's kind of saying, look at me, I've got a flush, but I've got a flush to three bet pre, bet flop, check back turn. I don't fucking want, I haven't got a fucking clue, have I? Let's be honest. I ain't got a fucking clue. Um, just feel like ra calling river raises with not low straights, like the worst straight you can have on a flushing board so like calling a river is like the millionth nuts doesn't doesn't seem like generally a good plan in these games now and again you know you're going to be getting bluffed but are you going to be getting bluffed enough of the time to want to make that call i suspect probably not but you just never know
We have a raise and a three bet here. Um, guess we're going to call four. Three betting down here. So three betting ace king on table three. We have called four betting on table on table two. Um, I guess I'm just going to bet something like seventeen here, and then just shut my eyes and shove turns. Checking back the ace king down on table three. Calling up here. Oh, we're being free rolled. Shop enough. Donkey big here. Call. I was going about to say going to shove on a heart or on a diamond. Um, three bet in the queen nine seated up here. Well, the seven is going to shove, so. I mean, I guess I'm going to shove. That's what I said I was going to do. And we get the fold. Cold call here with the three bet and check. We have a gut shot. Um, not going to see about the queen nine. This cold call alarms me slightly. This player can still have like pocket queens, pocket jacks, pocket lots of hands that just don't want to fold. Don't want to get check raised off my equity. <clears throat> so we're not going to bet. If it checks through again, which it doesn't, we're going to have a bet. We're going to call this bet. Well, we're certainly going to call now and just hope that we're not going dead. Well, we make our flush. How much is it going to cost us or how much is it going to earn us? Well, we're all in. That's what we definitely are. We're definitely all in. The question is, do we get cold? Imagine Jack X is going to have a hard time folding. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, Jack X just snaps it off. Things you love to see. Oh, 10 bonus points. Get the fuck in. That's what I'm here for. I am all about the 10 bonus points. That has made my day. This, I think, <clears throat> we're going to do this as a, like, um, premiere. I haven't got much to do today. <clears throat> so, might do it as, like, a YouTube premiere. So, um, yeah, if you are watching this on the premiere, I will be watching along with you. Do feel free to get involved in the chat box, and I will be only too happy to reply with my um, knit nonsense. Three bit in the ace four suited versus Fopper in his cut up open. He snap holds. No idea who the regs are here, who the <coughs> not so regs are. We, I mean, we could take some guesses from stack sizes, but um, that's about it. I mean, he's got a three X, he's got a min X, and uh, min X, min open. I mean, Fopper, who knows? Who knows what Fopper is? It's safe to assume he's not a genius. I think we can assume that just by the virtue of him playing 10 and 0 in the Unibet. We also obviously assume exactly the same about me. Uh, checking. Turning diamonds. Call. 
calling. Ricking rivers, not fun. Uh, check and lose or check and shop, I guess. Check and lose. She probably should have valued it. His sevens on the river there. If he hits on the right number, he gets a call. This, by the way, is one of my favorite avatars for screen names I've ever created on Unibet. It looks to me very much like a lady who is um who has been entered to an orifice she wasn't prepared for, which is uh, why I chose that username. <laughs> and I like it, because I'm a juvenile, childish motherfucker. Value better at ten on the river now on table three. Being check raised on this board, which whatever dude. Uh, I'm gonna get curious. It's a really bad call, but I don't give a fuck. turn and kiss goodbye to our really poor flop float. I mean, how often do you see check race check? You just don't, do you? You just don't see check race check very often. Um, I just didn't want to fold. Couldn't be ass folding, so I didn't. That's about the bottom line of that one. Uh, probably should just see that range here, I think. So that's what we're going to do. Called. Three betting the king queen off on table four. <laughs> Whatever, dude, just folding. In the folds with the king queen. Queen jack off middle position. I shouldn't open it, but we're making videos and we're playing 10 and L, so we're going to. Instantly punished. Instantly punished. Buick 8, not having it. No, 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 Reg, you're not doing that. Or maybe he just says trade unions, who knows, but we're out. We are out. Defending the five six, assuming Berserker doesn't 
doesn't do that, but she does. I'll put in the ten deuce. Popping two pairs. Trade check raise. And he's given the opportunity to check raise. Pretty drawy board. And get paid on a big raise here. So we're gonna try that number. Turning a full house. We just asked earlier how often do you see check raise check? Well we're gonna see it right here, right now, I think. He disappoints us by checking back. What would I bet if I had something like two queens here? Probably something like that. He goes all in. Recall. He was bluffing. Things you love to see. Hats off to you, Dolly. You've got us one there. You love to fucking see it. Now we're going to raise 2.5x. They're highly likely to tilt jam and possibly win 21 blinds back from us. Okay, they did not tilt jam. There's the Cowboys. Um, I'm going to do that range bet thing here that I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest. But um, we're going to do it anyway. What is that? Why is that turned up? That seems pretty unreasonable. I'm going to do that range bet thing again then. That all the cool kids rave about. That I think I know what I'm doing with it, but equally likely that I'm totally fucking butchering it in many spots. Although it seems quite a hard thing to butcher. I, oh, I can have a bit of that board. So I'll just bet small with everything. Oh, kings again. Can we get a slightly better flop this time with a feeler? Get any flop. <clears throat> we didn't get any flop. Those cards and those cards do not match. Therefore, for the people who don't understand poker very well, that is not a good flop for us. And it's also not a good flop for us to represent anything good. So we are going to take our option to wager no money. And set my only eight versus the potentially fishy looking player. We're just going to go big bet bet now and hope our opponent hasn't got an ace because he has. He's getting two bets from us. Okay, he doesn't want two bets from us. Which is fine by me. I mean, I have no issue with that. If he wants to just raise me there and then when I've got jack high. I'm on board with that. I really am on board with that. I can, I can fully get on board with... I mean, Kaiser. So, I mean... The, the, every single person watching this video will have seen somebody with the screen name Kaiser Sose. Um, what a fucking boring, dull, uninvented screen name. There's that many of them out there. Just fuck off. 
just fuck off, you boring, unimaginative twat. Anyone who has this screen name is going to be a fucking nit. Because they, they lack the imagination to come up with a better screen name than some kind of Kaiser Soze derivative. They're not going to be a particularly creative poker player, in my humble opinion. And I'm basing that basically on the Kaiser Soze, Kaiser Soze, however you want to pronounce it, who plays on Sky, who is one of the most tedious shite nits you will ever, ever come across. Mm, flipping top pair in table two. Okay, Nina. Yep, clearly not folding. Have a good or a bad turn card. Good in terms of it doesn't improve his bluffs. Bad in terms of it feels like a brick that I can't fold on. King River. If he jams the river, I think I'm folding or she checks now. I mean, maybe this is a value bet for some. It's too thin for me. I have to have been check raised and then bombed in two. And maybe ace nine of clubs. Shove would have worked. The shove would have worked. <clears throat> not saying they should have shoved, but it would have worked on that particular occasion against a filthy stain like me. Check raise versus small here from Hagford. It's small ish. Just going to bet this board with a very high frequency. I mean, we don't rep very much because there's not many strong hands we can have either, but we have backdoor hearts and we're making a video, so fuck it. We're going to start with a check raise and then see where we go from there. And he just folds. made a flush here but he went open three bet called four bet so we were never going to get to realize that equity so Kaiser Soze gets busted is it Kaiser Soze or Kaiser Soze how is it pronounced I don't fucking know uh, apparently it's from a film. I've never watched whatever film it's from. Apparently it was a character in a film. So somebody will know the correct answer to that. So here's three seated. Um, can we go in three bet?
Good fall back. Started the hand a little bit deeper. Again, I don't think this should be a call very often, but it's one I'm going to make for making the video. Well prepare. Vet quarter pot. Gonna call once, I think. Also gonna three bet the king nine suited on table four. If he bets again, we're just gonna fold. King nine suited takes it down on table four. If he checks now, we check back, and if he checks again on the river, I'm gonna presume he doesn't have any king X, and we're gonna turn our three into a bluff. We do river two pairs. Could be expensive, could be nice. <clears throat> I suspect it's going to be on the expensive side because I'm not folding, but I don't think he's bluffing. Ace King, nice answer. How incredibly surprising! And that is very likely why you shouldn't call four bets with ace three in the micro stakes. Not see betting multi way, even on a board that's pretty good for us. I don't do multi way seat betting very often. I am now going to bet 10 big blinds on this turn card when it checks twice. I don't think anyone's going to be checking a super strong hand twice. Could be wrong. We might be about to get check raised. Who knows? But feels like it's a reasonable spot to just try and win the pot there when we face. Two checks from two opponents. Oops. I didn't notice that race. We're going to fold the king eight suited. Think a set's coming down here. Think a set's coming out. I think you lads know it too. I think we all know that a set's coming right now. Oh, the set isn't coming. The set is not coming. Didn't come on the turn either. How fucking unreasonable is this? Checks, giving up with the king eight, we're checking back with the pocket tens, and we're probably going to pay off the river, and just lose to a good hand again. Oh, he checks again. Can we now thin value shove our pocket tens? If we do, what are we hoping to get called by? Uh, no, I don't think we can, but I think we can bet smallish. Just to get calls from ace highs. Or pocket queens. Uh, we can also get caught by pocket queens. Reload. Uh, Going to check back the ace eight up here because I am filthy in it. Let me chop it up. Going to squeeze the ace six suited. Are we? No. So there you go, we've four bit twice, so it's been ace, king and queens. 
sofra. Freebie in again versus early position on table three. And we're going to face our third consecutive four bet. He's in the tank. Bazooka is in the tank. He calls. Excuse me. Calls our C bet, which I expect him to a lot. Um, not double barreling. Not folding here, even though we're probably going to lose a lot. He blocks river. We don't beat any value whatsoever. So I need people to be turning pairs into bluffs here, really, I guess. Or just having a hand like King Jack. Yeah, we're getting a good price. Are we? No. No, Reg, you paid up enough this session. Oh, tempo bonus points. Things you fucking love to see. <laughs> you paid up enough so far. We're not paying up another one. Just not doing it. <laughs> Gonna make this video exactly one hour long and we shall check results at the end. I think we're winning small at the moment. There's just 22 minutes to go and anything can happen. Although it's 10 and L, so maybe not a lot will happen. Checking that ASI, turning a gutter. So he checks them big bets. Uh, we have a good shot, and I feel like I want to raise, so that's what I'm going to do. A three bet here calls, and um, we're not going to bluff this river, we're just going to give the fuck up. Um, a set's coming this time, isn't it? It's just fuck oh, it's not coming. We did well with 10 view suited earlier, didn't we? Um, but no, he's giving up here. Big bet, and uh, he's just got like who knows what. But he's got, he's got a better hand than Ace Three, and I think he's pretty unlikely to fold it. Eight Seven. Oh, we're timed out everywhere. Stop it, Reg. Stop it. Not having a time bank on this table is going to be quite irritating. But we're not going to reload because we've got some chips and we've got a stack. So. And what happened to you? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, he three bet, didn't he? Then check the clock. Um, I'm just going to hope he's got ace queen and that we're just going to win. Basically. Good for you, Nina. Good for you.
X7 of diamonds. Show me the flock, please. Show me the flock. Oh, very nice. Problem is it's multi-way, so we're not going to see as many C-bets as we would heads up, but we're still going to check. What a surprise, checks through. Who saw that coming? Who on earth saw the check through coming? <clears throat> um, probably shouldn't be a defend, but we're going to do it. Maybe it is. I don't fucking know. I'm not especially familiar with big blind defense ranges versus two and a half x from middle position but it's suited so we want to see a flop uh can we make him fold ace high i don't know but we're going to try get pretty big with our aces table three we call we're going to squeeze our pocket jacks Open the ace three suited. Get raised. We're going to call. Shit turn. We're going to bet pretty big again here. Hope to fold him off ace high. Not super hopeful about it though. Fold him off something. Don't know why I didn't see bet here. I'm just not concentrating basically. Just not concentrating. Um, don't like the spot with aces, but we're not folding just yet. That's a really cunt river. Um, I'm not rating this river. I'm beating the king jack. I'm hopefully check check here. Nine eight. Not really sure what he's doing there, but thank you. Not really sure what I was doing either, but there you go. I am not the man to four table these days. I was chatting with this with some of my pals last night and last week. Um, I'm not especially adept multi tabler these days, but doing less than four tables on a live play YouTube video would just be an absolute snooze fest. So we're just going to accept that A games are not going to be delivered, but we're four tabling. <laughs> Nine suited. Uh, yeah, we'll get fruited. Getting the ten nine suited versus Yoshimitsu.
going to get checkers quite a lot on this board. But if we do, I'm going to defend against it. Turn card doesn't seem to be what I enjoy seeing. I was going to hero down a lot of runouts, but the eight feels like this card is not. Oh, is it? I don't fucking know. Stop talking shit, Ned. You don't know. You don't know how he's constructing his range here. Um, no, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. We're not folding. Okay, get fucked. Get fucked, Buick 8. You went into Curious Reg, and it didn't end well for you. Stacks, haven't we? We've got 200 bigs, 213 bigs, 171 bigs, and 101 bigs. But you can't have stacks everywhere, I guess. See you at the river, Jonas. Maybe not. Maybe Jonas just folds when we bet three and a half big blinds on the turn. Jonas raises. Yeah, whatever, Jonas. Take my money. Take my fucking money, Jonas. See if I care. Oh, Jonas goes big. I'm not, I'm not quite as confident anymore. Um, but, I mean, we've been the station all day so far. Why change a habit of a lifetime? Yes, go on, Reggie, you fucking monster station. Nobody ever bluffs at the micro stakes, except when they do. Except when they do. <laughs> How long have we been going for now? 49 minutes. 11 minutes to cling on without stationing it off to somebody and losing. Although we did station it off and lose earlier. There's a couple of spots in four bet pots. Three, four, four against the big blind. Um, checking. Betting. I'm 
see that with 5 4 against Mr. Boom Bastic. <coughs> and we're going to take it down. Come on, open up table. Don't let me find a new table at this late stage in proceedings. Never do suited. Yeah, why not? Why the hell not? Are you sure? Oh, you can be sure when you say. Shame. We might have to show. We, we might have to show at some point. Uh, squeezing the Ace King. Getting it through. Getting the seven deuce through. Do I want to squeeze this ace ten off? I don't think so. <clears throat> Aces. You'd love to see it. And three bet a little bit bigger here with the king queen off, given how deep we are at the position. Uh, bet very small with the aces and the hat. Take it down with our turn barrel. Aces again. Can we get squeezed? Can we get squeezed? Banana's not going to do it. No way, banana. You don't get squeezed by 75 big blind stacks too often. Uh, maybe we're not supposed to check there, but I want to check race, so I'm going to. And if Nina, if Nina has to queue up a two aces, then absolutely brilliant news for Nina. Eighteen here. It's going to put them down at sixty-four, and there's going to be like a pot-sized bet left on the river. So we will go eighteen within three bet with a three high, four high. So we are out. I'm not in love with the heart heart runner, but we do have the ace of hearts, and we are all in. And of course, we run into the set. Absolutely marvellous. Marvellous activity. Um, we flop three kings on table two. Somehow, our opponent checks back on a board that you would expect them to see back with a remarkably high frequency. And bet big-ish and I guess fold to a raise.
Fanana with the 3x, Bazooka with the call. I don't seen this player open one shirt. He may have opened and I missed it, but we've just got a call on the button. Probably would have squeezed from the cutoff. Not sure if that makes a difference or not, but it does in my thick little head. <laughs> Big bet, multi-way there. Good for you, sir. I guess I'm out. <laughs> Hagwood will be getting check raised. Good folds. Yep, four bet by Tarmag. We have two tens. <coughs> um, I guess we're just going to lose the four bet pot again. I guess that's just what's going to happen. Finds a check, so do we. We're just going to lose to jacks or queens here, aren't we? That's what's going to happen right here, right now. Jacks or queens, which is it? Ace queen, happy days. It was the other one. It was the other one. And I think that's us done, isn't it? I think we're going to be approaching the hour. This is like sit out. I've just sit out with these fucking things. Uh, sit out. Next BB. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to explore whether we lost or made money. It feels like we're slight winners. Oh, stop it, Bazooka. Uh, don't want to fire the third bullet on the six. Don't want to do it. I haven't got it in me. Not going to do it. Um, not going to see about the Jack 10 6 2 ton either. I can hear my phone vibrating, but I can't fucking see it. I'll return that call in a moment because we're nearly finished anyway. Giving up <coughs> with the thing. So we're sitting out. We're going to be sitting out here in a moment. We're almost sitting out here. So <coughs> we can do the accounting now, I guess. We started with 116 euros. Ah, right now, hang on. We've got to do this, haven't we? So it all like refreshes. And we've got 66 euros in our account. That's 132 euros. So we won 16 euros during that session. Or 160 big blinds. And, and this is the most important bit that I think some of you guys don't realise. We won 20 bonus points. Which is probably the highlight of the whole thing. So yeah, there we go. <coughs> Just over an hour done. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um... Every chance there'll be two more, what is it, Tuesday? Every chance there'll be another video tomorrow and another video Thursday. Tomorrow is less certain because um, I'm busy from 12, so it will require me to be up and about at around 10-ish. 
which I usually am, but who knows. Um, so they're not certain, but hopefully video tomorrow and definitely one Thursday. Um, hope you enjoy the watch along. Hope there's plenty of people in the chat and by plenty of people, I mean at least five or six. Uh, hopefully it'll be good fun for us all to do. Uh, take care, everybody. Hopefully see you again tomorrow or if you're watching this very much in the future, enjoy the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.